Well, I wish you could see my view this morning. Holy cow. Spectacular sunrise over the eastern horizon. Uh, I think I'm on the top of Plum Orchard Mountain. Came out of Dick's Creek Gap this morning. Got up early, got up just before four o'clock. Got on the trail just before five. I actually had about a half mile hike back up to the trail from the shump from the hostel, but not bad. Uh, I don't know, it's about 6.15, 6.20, I guess. Been climbing for most of the morning. Been on steady uphill to Plum Orchard. Uh, knees fine on uphills, it's still hurting on downhill, so. The sleeves that I've got, or the, yeah, not, we'll call them sleeves, braces, are not working as I had hoped for the downhill. So when I get to Franklin, I'm going to go, Outdoor 76 is a, one of the foremost outfitters along the East Coast on the AT. And uh, I'm going to go in there and see if they can recommend a better brace. Uh, and I want to apologize. I looked at a little bit of my video that I posted of the first four days the orientation for some reason keeps getting uh off it gets you know it leaves landscape and goes to portrait for some reason i'm not sure what's going on with that i'll make sure i try to get that corrected for you i know it's kind of disorienting when you're viewing the videos but uh i'll check in later i should have a view when the sun comes up and uh give you some idea i'm only about i believe i'm certainly less than five maybe it's, it's four and a half miles from North Carolina, so I'm excited about that milestone and excited about getting home. Uh, I'll spend probably the better part of a week, week and a half in North Carolina and Tennessee, so I'm very much looking forward to that. Hoping to see family and friends along the way as well and just make kind of a homecoming out of it. Later. In my mind, I'm gone to Carolina. Can't you see the sunshine? Can't you just feel the moon shining? And ain't it just like a friend of mine to hit me from behind? Yes, I'm gone to Carolina in my mind. That's right, folks. I made the North Carolina border. <laughs> ah. I think that is so cool. I'm home, at least for a few hundred miles, and then I'm back in other states, but I'm in North Carolina. Praise the Lord. Good hike this morning. Nothing to report other than it, uh, a couple little climbs like we always have, and ups and downhills. Knees, a little better, but I had my first blister this morning for no reason at all. A teeny tiny blister on my right heel, so I popped it, kind of treated it. Still, eh, you know, it burns a little bit, but it's fine. But I'm so pumped to be in North Carolina. So pumped. I'm going to head on into North Carolina. I still got several climbs, but I'm just so grateful to be here. Thank you, Lord. Thanks for all that has supported me. I'm not too sure what this vista is. Uh, I should check. I have a $68 piece of soft, I mean, application that I should be using all the time. It's called Gut Hooks. No reason for me not to use it. Uh, but I'm looking. I guess that's north. So, I guess off in the distance is the Smokies. Maybe on the horizon way over there. Uh, I know I'm still, uh, what, 60 miles from the Smokies, 60 trail miles from the Smokies. So, it's not right in front of me, but you can see why they call the Smokies, though. See how hazy is everything is over there. And it's interesting to me. I don't. I think we're around 4,000 feet, but here in North Carolina, there are very few leaves on these trees. Spring hasn't sprung here yet, and I'm not seeing... Well, that's not true. I am seeing some wildflowers. Met an interesting guy from Wisconsin. Trail name's Mailman. He's finishing up a flip-flop hike he's going to do uh, from Springer to Harper's Ferry. Near my age. Uh, good guy. Enjoyed meeting him. I'll check in after a while. Well, I'm nearing the top of Standing Indian Mountain, which has been a great climb. It's... Wonderful switchbacks. Gosh, this has been one of the easiest big climbs we've had on the trail yet. Spectacular valley view from up here, though. I guess that's the gorge, really, not the valley. There's a lake back over there. I wonder if that's the lake near Hiawassee uh, that we were near yesterday. 
But, uh, no, that's east. So that probably wouldn't be it. No, I'm sorry, that's west. Uh, should be hitting the pinnacle here pretty soon. Head down, and sometime this afternoon I gotta start thinking about where I'm gonna stay tonight. <sighs> I'm not gonna do a 30. I mean, I can't believe I was even thinking about doing a 30, but I have so much energy. I've been able to uh, eat, and I've just been so pleased with that. My knee feels good, and of course I haven't gone downhill in a while, but I'm really pleased right now. Thanking the Lord, so checking in later. Well, including the five-tenths of a mile that I did coming out of around the Bend Hostel, I did 31 miles today. I had hoped to get to the 100-mile marker by the end of the first five days, and here I am. Whew, that last half-mile coming up. This is Albert Mountain, by the way. Uh, this is the Albert Mountain Fire Tower. I'm going to climb up there in just a little while and see what it looks like. But uh, last half-mile, whoo, 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 that's... Reminded me of the whites. Good little climb. Look at this view though. Look what you're treated with up here. Holy cow. This is spectacular. So according to this, the town of Highlands is 15.9 miles that away. way uh, In Georgia, Raven Bald in Georgia is right over there. I guess I can, that's that bald peak right in front of us. <laughs> so here puts me at about uh, seven miles from Franklin by way of Winding Stair Gap. My buddy Kevin Brown is going to pick me up sometime in the morning at Winding Stair Gap. He's going to take me into town and I'm going to eat like a pig and buy some more gear and just have a great old time. Walk with me as I head up the stairs here. I don't know why I'm doing this because I just climbed a monster. But I've always wanted to see this, so uh, that's why. Let me get the views over here. Look at that. Wow. Gee willikers, it's amazing. I'm watch my hat's gonna get blown off. Let me see when I got on up there if I can actually see the mountains to the west. I don't think you can go up in the tower itself. I'll see, I think it's always locked. Yeah, see the mountains to the west. This is a 360 panorama. Oh my goodness, this is, wow. God is good all the time. A lot of leaves on the trees down there, but not up here. I think we're about 4,700 feet up here. So leaves haven't got here yet. I'm not gonna stay up here too long. God, it's cold. Let me see if it will let me in the, I'll check in later if I can. So here's the official 100 mile marker. Three tenths of a mile south, I'm sorry, north or down the hill from the tower. I'm gonna try to find a campsite somewhere around here. I'm done, I have no desire to hike any farther today. Let me check in just before I head to bed. Well, good morning from the trail. Let me turn this thing around. Oh, sorry, just blinded you now. Uh, Probably a method. I don't have to use a headlamp. There we go. Good morning. Good morning. It's uh, one of the coolest mornings in a while, but it's not really cold. Uh, it was cold at the shelter last night, only because it was so breezy. Uh, the spot that I had was not ideal. So it just had really soft soil around my tarp. A couple of my tent and my uh, stakes blew out and. My tarp was flapping around a good portion of the night, though I slept like a log. I think I went to sleep at about 9 and didn't, I didn't stir until about 3.45 when my tarp was kind of flapping around and woke me up. So I got up and 
kind of stored my tarp in its snake skin, and then I um, decided after about 20 minutes or so, it's probably time to get up anyway, so my alarm went off at 5, as it always does, and I was already mostly ready anyway. Got out of camp, but I wanted to post this uh, for one reason, and that was, I'm going to call these life lessons from the trail, faith lessons from the trail. So when I came out of the shelter and got onto the trail, heading south, I mean northbound, uh, the trail came to a small creek. And at that creek, it looked as though the trail should continue on directly ahead of you. So I started walking into that area, could not find a trail. And the problem was there were down trees and thick rhododendron bushes all over what I thought was going to be the trail. Sorry about that. Uh, so after about 10 minutes of scrambling through this, getting frustrated because I couldn't detect any kind of trail, got back to the creek. I just followed the creek bed down for about another 50 feet, and it picked up the trail again. The creek was the trail. Uh, I couldn't see a blaze on any of the trees, so it really wasn't that obvious. But I finally got onto the trail without issue and continued on. A couple of other spots where the creek was a trail as well. But here's the point. These trail maintainers want to do everything that they can to make these trails accessible. They want it to be easy for people to get through these areas. They, do, they take pains to do that. They come out and clear these trails immediately after down trees and everything. So it was clear to me that they would not have designed a trail that was going to go into a rhododendron thicket. If I had trusted them more to follow me down the correct path, I wouldn't have burst into that rhododendron thicket and tumbled around for 10 minutes trying to find my way. I think in life, it's the same way with our relationship with the Lord and with the path He's chosen for us. We don't have to thrash about trying to find some path for ourselves. He's already clearly chosen a path for us, cleared that path for us, and made that path perfect for our lives. Sometimes we can't find it. Sometimes we thrash about trying to find it. But I think finding it is as simple as trusting Him to have it before us. Yes, we do have to work on discernment. You know, we do have to seek His will in prayer. Sometimes perhaps from the counsel of good friends or mentors. But the point of this, this all is we merely need to trust that He has our good at heart just like these trail maintainers have the good of the hikers at heart. That's my faith lesson for the morning. I'll check in later. I've got a friend picking me up, winding stair gap in about, oh, probably five and a half miles now. So I'm looking forward to a almost full day in Franklin. I'm going to eat a ton of calories, boy. My hand, hiker hunger has really kicked in. So, talk later. Thank you.